the arts has a way of kind of taking care of people. So it often brings together people that perhaps are a little bit lost, don't really know what to do, end up getting involved in the arts. And if they're passionate enough about it and they put the time in, it can also become a career in itself. I originally got involved in Carnival because it was kind of accessible. So growing up in Mosley, there's always been a really kind of deep connection with outdoor arts, with all sorts of different organisations and projects doing stuff around here. And really it was a bit of fun. It kind of kept me on the straight and narrow and, and kept me out of trouble. Global Grooves is part of a kind of journey we've made together. We always had an idea that we would want to use our music and our art form to make positive change in communities. Before I met Global Grooves, I was very like nervous and like socially awkward and talking to people was like really intimidating and never knew what to say and stuff like that. The estate I grew up on is not like a beautiful estate. I sometimes still do feel a bit uncomfortable about sharing that. You didn't have all the money to do all the things, like if I wanted to go to the brilliant, amazing dance school, I didn't have the money to pay for something like that or, you know, a certain kind of college and stuff like that. So I spent a lot of time comparing myself to other people, which is probably the thing that I was like most uncomfortable about in like school and all that. Because if you're comparing yourself to other people, then you're most likely not going to feel great, are you? <laughs> really wanted to do something with my dance. It's something that I loved and I was passionate about and while I was doing my GCSEs I'd worked with Global Grooves to produce like a community festival. I did like an apprenticeship for about a year which was just after I'd finished high school. After I'd completed their Future Leaders programme I just wanted to get stuck in. My current role at Global Grooves is as a producer. At the moment I'm working on projects for the Queen's Jubilee, producing a section of that which celebrates Manchester and all of the cultures and diversity within it. These are actually recycled bottle tops, so from everyone's oat milk that they've been drinking, they've kindly contributed. They are very good. Kind of. <laughs> Jingle. That's one thing about being a producer, I think, is that you get to kind of nosy and be a part of sometimes like lots of different people's thought processes and conversations. So you just pick stuff up along the way. I'm a bit nosy me, like I like learning and I like listening. <laughs> so who would have thought that plastic bottle tops would make good shells? Like, aren't they wonderful? Little kids, part of the community, growing into the carnival. Like it's not something that you sit and learn. You learn with the process. The rehearsals, making the costume, everything like happening here, is what kind of like everyone just loves it as well. Actually, we cry when is we're having a parade because that's the end of the process. Where I'm from in Edinburgh, I didn't know anyone that was sort of as passionate about music as I was. I was sort of looking to just learn a little bit more about leadership and also just get a bit more musical input and build more relationships because as soon as I got into Future Leaders, I learned a little bit more about the culture and as soon as I understood more cultural aspects as well as the music, I just got hooked and sort of devoted all my time since then into it. So this is Cantaben, the Indian roller bird. She's also illuminated, has huge wings and kind of swoops down Aurora soon and she will be representing Manchester. It's got kind of a sprung system within it made from fiberglass rods and also aluminium. So all of the drums and all of the costume and all of the things around are just bits of metal, wood and plastic. But when a person takes on a character of a puppet or picks up an instrument or is 
within a costume it's their spirit and their energy and their passion and their love and all those things that is injected into that costume and it's injected into the walls of this building and everything that we do here. Carnival has changed my life. A big part of it has been being part of a community. It feels to me like every single person and every single contribution, no matter how big or the skill level or experience level is valued. So I think that has been like one of the big ones for me. They've just brought me so much joy. I like learning the new techniques and the new rhythms. It's got to be the music. All the different kinds of costumes, puppets. I like how it brings people together in a positive manner. <laughs> Being part of something huge. No matter who you are or what you are, you can always join in in a carnival. <laughs> it makes me happy. Very, very happy. Why we do what we do is because it does enable so many people to have positive opportunities in their lives. Uh, some people may dive in just for a few hours and that's enough, whereas other people might stay with us for many, many, many years. It is having an impact on so many people, like it did for me. You feel empowered to be helping to make that change. The act of somebody contributing to a unified vision helps them to feel empowered. All of those people are there because they want to be and they have their energy and, and their presence to give. That is valued in Carnival as well. Without Carnival, I'm not quite sure what I would do. <laughs> it's given me a career, it's given me friendships. When we see young people getting those same opportunities that we had when we were younger, it gives us joy. 